Hello guys, in this video, we'll see what are recipes and alarms in HMI. Before we get started with today's video, I just wanted to inform you about all the great content, I have been releasing on the PLC Goods YouTube channel, which includes industrial automation PLC programming, HMI and microcontroller based developments. My name is Syed Reza, and if you enjoy this video, I would appreciate it if you could click the subscribe button as well as the notification bell, to receive the latest and the greatest content, I will be posting through the channel. Alright. Let's see the previous project. We have learned to change any parameters on the HMI screen. Now, we're going to see, how the status of two valves can be changed at the same time. Therefore, we will be able to change the status of any number of variables, at the same time. To do that, on the left side, click on recipe. Here, we can create a recipe, and choose a name for that. I want to change valve states. Pay attention, each recipe has a unique number. In the bottom window, the desired parameters are selected. Here, I select fill percent of PLC tag table, which is related to the filling valve. Similarly, I select a PLC tag, related to discharging valve. In the next tab, data records, we specify desired values for each selected parameter. Here, each state has a unique number. Let's the first state opens the inlet valve and close the outlet valve. The second state opens both valves 50%. Finally, the third state is when the inlet valve is closed, and the outlet valve is opened. Now, let's save this recipe, and back to the tank screen. I want to use buttons, to apply each state values to the PLC program. All right. In the events tab, select this function, set data records to PLC. This function selects a recipe with its number. Also, each defined state has a unique number. So, this function uses state 1 values, for selected parameters, which are filling and discharging valves. Similarly, let me use buttons to select other states. Let's simulate this screen. Alright, as you see, I can change two valve states with these buttons. Here is a problem. Before, we have seen and changed two valves with these numeric I.O. fields. Now, we just see zero. Pay attention, this numeric I.O. field and this button, are using the same tag of PLC address, which is fill percent.
This PLC tag is used in the recipe too. Let's go to the HMI tags table. When we use a PLC address for the first time in the HMI, automatically, the HMI defines a similar tag for itself, which is connected to the selected PLC address. Here, we are using a PLC address, fill percent tag, and also discharge percent, in two HMI elements. To solve the previous problem, we must define new HMI tags and use them in the recipe. Pay attention, old and new HMI tags are connected to the same PLC addresses. Now, let's go to recipe and replace its tags with new HMI tags. Now, let's test the recipe. As you see, the previous problem has been solved. We can change two valve states, and also see their values. Also, we can define recipe on the HMI screen. From the control tab, on the right side, insert a recipe in a blank screen. If you simulate it again, this screen will be shown, which we can be used to see, create, modify, or delete recipes. For example, I can change parameters value in the second state to zero, and save it. Alright, what is this yellow triangle? And what are these messages? Now, we're going to learn using alarms on HMI screens. Alarms are messages, which will be shown automatically, when a special condition occur. Now, if the water level reaches 250 centimeters, a warning text will be displayed on this screen. As you can see, this number is still zero. Now if the water level exceeds 290, HMI will show an error text on the current screen. Naturally, the entrance valve must be closed, in this condition. So, the lower number of the yellow triangle, indicates the number of current system errors which has been inserted here too. If I open the outlet valve, the water level start to drop. Now, the error has been removed, and when the water level returns to less than 250 centimeters, the warning text will be erased, from this screen. Now, let's see how error or warning alarms can be defined on the HMI. We want to show an appropriated message on the HMI screen, when the liquid level is lower or higher than a normal level, and also when we activate, or disable the PID controller. So, click on the HMI alarms. Select this tab to define analog alarms. Click to create a new alarm. 
Here, we write an appropriated message which will be shown on the HMI. I want to use this alarm, when the liquid level is lower than 10 cm. At this column, the alarm class is specified. As you see, here are four predefined classes. I select error. Because 10 cm is too low. Then, I connect this alarm to the level liquid tag. Here, we write the critical level. Finally, we must determine its limit mode. Let's define another alarm, when the liquid level lower than 50 cm. For this alarm, I select the warning class. Similarly, I define appropriated alarms, when the level is higher than normal level. To define discrete alarms, we need a word address of PLC memory. So, let's go to PLC tag table. Now, I define alarm word tag, with MW200 address. As you know, a word address has 16 bits. Alarm conditions must be written in the PLC program. The first discrete alarm is, when the PID controller is activated, so, I use a PID activator tag, and save that on the first bit of MW200. Pay attention, MW200 is included M by 200, and M by 201. The first bit is M201.0. Similarly, we can write other discrete alarms. With a word of memory, we can define up to 16 alarms. Now, let's transfer this program to the virtual CPU, and back to discrete alarm window. Now, discrete alarms can be defined by word memory. The first alarm is, when the PID controller is activated. Here, we connect alarms to a bit of word memory. Now, it is the first memory of connected address. Similarly, we can define next alarms. Now, we need to create a blank screen to show alarm messages.
Now, just enter the alarm view from the right list. Here, we can change the inserted alarm view settings. To view errors on all screens, go to global screen, and use alarm elements like me. Alright, we have tested this project before with TIA simulator, similarly, I can use my PLC and HMI to test my program. As you see, in the manual mode, I can control two valves with these two potentiometers. Let's go to automatic mode, which the water level will be controlled from the HMI. As you see, in the HMI, an error message has appeared, which says, the water level is too low. Also, I can change inlet outlet water volume, with S1, S2, and S3 buttons, on the right side of HMI screen. Also, I can see and manage all recipes on the HMI. If I click on this button, I will go to the alarm screen, to see all alarm and error, which have been occurred until now. As you see, if the water level exceeds 290 centimeters, the HMI will show an error message, to inform the operator. I hope, you have learned what are recipes and alarms on the HMI. Thanks for watching my content, if you have any question on this topic make sure you leave them in the comment section below, and if you can spend a few seconds of your time liking as well as sharing this video, if you enjoyed it, that will mean a lot to me. If you have any suggestions for the channel such as what kind of hardware or software I should be covering, then make sure to leave that in the comment section. See you next time. Bye bye.